So YouTube, welcome to today's video. I'll be discussing um, the functionality on Apple Studio known as Swing. I'll explain what Swing is, what it does, and how you use it on Apple Studio. So the main point of this video is to give you disadvantages of using too much Swing on your songs on Apple Studio. So using Swing itself is not really a problem, but then using too much of it um, becomes um, not good. Uh, there's a saying they say i think they say um, too much of something is not good and part or most part of this video will be subjective as it is based on my own personal experience and it's coming from my own viewpoint um, so likewise if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe leave a like comment down below also let me know what are, are your views towards swing um, otherwise let's get into it so what is Swing? Swing basically is a functionality on the FL Studio that adds a time delay to successive um, nodes. So what it does, it, it adds a bit of break or a pause or time delay or a time shift um, between your nodes. So to elaborate this, I'll play this drum sequence with no swing. So this is a simple four step kick and has, and I'm gonna increase swing all the way up. Just listen attentively to the heads. So the effects of swing can be more head on notes that are most um, consecutive, notes that are closest to each other. You, you won't be able to clearly hear the effects of swing on, on your kick. You won't clearly hear the effects of swing on the kick, but then you'll clearly hear the effects on these heads because they're the um, most closest to each other. So it adds that time delay or that pause or break in between the, the notes. So that's the effect of swing. That's how you use it. But then here's the disadvantage of swing. The first disadvantage is that it uh, makes it a lot more difficult for DJs who are playing on live performances to mix in your song or sync it together with other songs or beat match it. So I'm gonna demonstrate it this way. On this um, Air Force Studio project, I loaded three songs. Um, one has Swim, it's from that EP. The other two do not have a lot of Swim. Um, this is how the first song sounds. So it sounds um, normal, interesting, it's a nice song. But then I'm going to try to mix in the, others, the, the, the next song as if I were a DJ playing live. So what a DJ does is first thing we want to... Um, match the two bpms of the song so the first song is playing at 116 and then i already adjusted the second song to 116 bpm so that's okay and then the next thing now we want to beat match the songs the first kick of the first song should be right on top of the first kick of the second song so here's the first kick for that next 16 pass this is the first kick that i'm choosing and I will try to match these so that's matched i already did this so i'm gonna try play these two songs together notice that i'm using fo studio a software where, where i can actually make things sound as much perfect as they can so imagine for a dj who's playing live someone who's human someone who would make a silly mistake to um not timely beat match the two songs so it would be more visible i mean it would be more audible to hear the two songs not playing well together than here on fo studio but already on fo studio they don't sound um smoothly together this is because 
on this song there was swing a lot of swing that was used so there was a lot of time delay but then here there were no time delays this is more audible on a part where there's a lot of percussions that's the part so these combo just sounds awful so that's the disadvantage of swing but then just listen attentively to the two songs that don't have swing on them they sound you can even barely hear that they come um, the next song is coming in that's how perfect they sound together so that's the first disadvantage of swing you don't want to be making swing does make your song sound interesting however you don't want to be making an, a very interesting song but DJs fail to play it live on their sets because you used a lot of swing to a point where it does not um, synchronize with other songs. So that's the first disadvantage of swing. The next um, disadvantage is that you won't or a collaborator won't easily work on your song because there's too much swing. So let's say you sent in this song for collaboration to a DJ or I mean to a producer and they want to work on it usually collaborations are not only done on FLP files sometimes you send stems to the producer that you want to work with web files so let's assume for the scenario where you give them a web file or stems and they are trying to build up on a web file not knowing that on this web file there was swing used so it's difficult for that producer to add in his sound because we are assuming that the producer comes from a background where he or she is used to producing without using swing so it's not easy to integrate the two you, you, that, because i just showed you that it's not easy to synchronize a song where there's a lot of swing used together with a song that there was no swing used so it won't be easy for that collaboration to happen because the producer is trying to fuse in elements where there's no swing to a web file where there's a lot of swing used so those are the two disadvantages of swing so that's just based on my personal experience you might have a different view or you might support this let me just know what you guys have to say or what are your opinions or views on this subject matter otherwise that's it for today's video cheers guys i'll catch you in my next video